Katy Perry's new song that just came out called Rise. And uh, it depicts her as dressed in scarlet. And she basically is being dressed properly in the movie, you know, to be a lady and to be covered up in her music video. Um, And then all of a sudden she pushes everybody away and then she rips off her clothes and she looks like a whore. And she basically um, rips the sword out of the hand of one of the people And then she starts to walk by the founders of the United States and they they are taken by her. And this the scripture came to my mind when I was watching this was the Bible says that she fornicates with the nations of the world. Um, She is the whore of Babylon. Now, I'm not saying that Katy Perry is. I'm saying that she is depicting this great harlot, this great whore of Babylon, um, and if you look at uh, most of Katy Perry's music videos lately, a lot of it has to do with Egypt and Babylon. and So we're seeing the, the dragon rising. We're seeing the beast rise, this Antichrist spirit with the mystery of Babylon. It's all, you know, coming back. Just like it was back then, it's coming back over the land. This shadow, this uh, demonic and evil presence of Satan is filling the land. And so this song that she's singing is going to be used for the Olympics this year. Um, And she's going to actually be at the Olympics and sing this song. But I will assure you there's a much sinister plot behind this song. It's not, you know, the song is not just about winning. It's not just about being a winner. In the Olympics, and what this song is about is rising with the beast, rising over that which is good and holy and pure and true uh, and righteous. Remember, Katy Perry um, is rebelling against uh, her childhood, uh, you know, raising in the in in the gospel. Now, I'm not sure if her parents were ever in the true gospel, but at least what they understood to be the gospel. And she couldn't even listen to a secular song when she was growing up as a child. And now she's the epitome of rebellion. I just saw an interview with Katy Perry, and she was asked about the tattoo on her wrist that says Jesus. And she says, yeah, when I play the electric guitar or I'm playing my guitar, she says, I see Jesus staring back at me. She says, I know I can always go back to him. Well, that's not the case, Miss Katy Perry. You can't go back to Jesus when you're ready or when you want to. You've got to come to him when he calls. This idea that you can just call on Jesus whenever you want to? No, it doesn't work that way. Except the Father draw, you can't come. And right now, obviously, the Father in heaven is not drawing Katy Perry. Anytime that the Spirit of the Lord's not drawing you, you're in trouble. Amen? Remember the scripture says in Song of Solomon, she says, draw me and I'll run after you. She understands that he needs to draw her because she can't draw herself. There's nothing in herself that wants to follow Jesus. She realizes that he's got to do the drawing. He's got to be the one to initiate or she's not coming. Amen. So we thank God that he does draw us. And I've been telling you that word draw means to drag. And the Lord does have to drag us. Amen. This whole idea is is like a woman that's being carried over the threshold and she's fighting with the one that's wanting to be one with her. And, you know, he has every right to be one with her because he just married her. He just, you know, married her and then but she's being shy or bashful and she doesn't want to go across the threshold into his bedchambers. And so the Lord says, I'm dragging you. Um, across the threshold. You don't want to come, but you're mine. You're mine. How many know that when you give your life to the Lord, you've been bought with a price? You're not your own anymore. Well, that same thing happens with Satan. He owns those that, you know, that sell out to him. He owns them. And Katy Perry is owned by the devil. You know, look at what uh, Oprah Winfrey uses for her name of her company, Own. She's owned. She's letting everybody know she's owned. 
But going back to Katy Perry, this is probably one of the most demonic um, songs, the most demonic music videos Katy Perry's ever put out there. And I know that in her mind she's just doing it as entertainment because she knows that it gets under the skin of the believers and, you know, the at least the charismatic Christians. It shouldn't bother you and I because the Bible says nothing shall offend us. Amen. That we that love the law, nothing shall offend us. But Katy Perry is obviously, she enjoys ruffling the feathers of the charismatic and Catholic world. Those that call themselves Christians. She loves to ruffle their feathers. You, if you, if you was to ask her, you know, the, the inspiration behind her music videos, she loves to stir trouble. She likes that, that, that part of her that likes to see, you know, the, the feathers ruffled. She likes to rock the boat, so to speak. And so that's what this is all about. She knows that it will do well in the music, uh, you know, as far as her fans, because they're all against uh, Christians. They're all against anything that's moral and right. And so here in this music video, we see Katy Perry ripping off her, um, her you know, conservative clothing that's basically covering all her nakedness. All of a sudden, she rips it off and she's a whore dressed underneath. And she takes off her, her uh, you know, white hair or her hair that's a hairdress that's covering her regular hair. She rips that off and it shows her black hair. Who she, so in other words, what she's saying is, I'm really a whore at heart. That's what Katy Perry's saying. And so this whole depiction in the music video is Katy Perry coming out saying, I'm a whore. Okay? And she's, she's proud of it. She's proud of being a whore. She loves being a whore. And if you look at this music video, it shows the what looks to be maybe George Washington or, you know, the founding fathers. Um, you, you see them uh, winking at her as she goes by in her whore, you know, dressed as a whore. And so this, without question, is, you know, going back to the scriptures where it says that she catches the attention of the nations where they fornicate with her and they you know they love to be with her and be in bed with her and and so we're seeing that I you know I just preached to you about the beast is rising the dragon's rising you know and Russia's rising and the dra- and and China's rising and we're seeing the antichrist rising and so this is just another more evidence that the beast is rising the Whore of Babylon in this video. And, uh, you know, it's just... I, I thank God. I thank God because the scriptures are being fulfilled. I know it's not going to be long, people, before my king is going to set up his kingdom. My king and your king. The true David. Amen? The true king of kings and Lord of Lords. Is Jesus Christ your King? In this music video with Katy Perry, she knocks over the throne and then she sits down and puts on the crown on her head. This is without question the beast or the 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 woman that's riding the beast. God bless you.